Nivolumab is a PD-1 blocking antibody used to treat melanoma, non-small cell lung cancer, renal cell cancer, head and neck cancer, and Hodgkin lymphoma. In this video, let's find found. What is nivolumab? What class of drug is nivolumab? What is nivolumab used to treat? Who cannot use nivolumab? What are the side effects of taking nivolumab? How does nivolumab make you feel? How to use nivolumab? What is nivolumab? What class of drug is nivolumab? Nivolumab, sold under the brand name Opdivo, is a medication used to treat a number of types of cancer. Nivolumab was approved for medical use in the United States in 2014. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. It is made using Chinese hamster ovary cells. Nivolumab is the second FDA-approved systemic therapy for mesothelioma and is the first FDA-approved immunotherapy for the first-line treatment of gastric cancer. What is nivolumab used to treat? Nivolumab is indicated to treat unresectable or metastatic melanoma, melanoma as adjuvant treatment, resectable or metastatic non-small cell lung cancer, small cell lung cancer, advanced renal cell carcinoma, classical Hodgkin lymphoma, squamous cell carcinoma of the neck, urothelial carcinoma, microsatellite instability high or mismatch repair deficient metastatic colorectal cancer, hepatocellular carcinoma, and esophageal cancer. The indication for classical Hodgkin lymphoma, microsatellite instability high or mismatch repair deficient metastatic colorectal cancer, and hepatocellular carcinoma were approved under accelerated approval based on the overall response rate. Continued approval for this indication may be contingent upon verification and description of clinical benefit in confirmatory trials. Nivolumab is also approved for the treatment of HER2-negative advanced or medic gastric, gastroesophageal junction, or esophageal adenocarcinoma when used in combination with a fluoropyrimidine and platinum-containing chemotherapy regimen. In combination with relatlimab, nivolumab is indicated for the treatment of patients greater than or equal to 12 years old with unresectable or metastatic melanoma. Who cannot use nivolumab? There are no contraindications for therapy with nivolumab. Contraception for at least 5 months after the last dose of nivolumab is strongly advised. What are the side effects of taking nivolumab? The drug label contains warnings with regard to increased risks of severe immune-mediated inflammation of the lungs, the colon, the liver, the kidneys, with accompanying kidney dysfunction, as well as immune-mediated hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism. Pharmacodynamics Nivolumab blocks PD-1 inhibitory signaling to T-cells. It has a long duration of action as it is administered every two to four weeks. Patients should be counseled regarding the risk of immune-mediated adverse effects, infusion-related adverse effects, complications of allergenic hematopoietic stem cell transplants, embryo-fetal toxicity. How does nivolumab work? The ligands PD-L1 and PD-L2 bind to the PD-1 receptor on T-cells, inhibiting the action of these cells. Tumor cells express PD-L1 and PD-L2. Nivolumab binds to PD-1, preventing PD-L1 and PD-L2 from inhibiting the action of T-cells, restoring a patient's tumor-specific T-cell response. Half-life The serum half-life of nivolumab is approximately 20 days, with an elimination half-life of 26.7 days. How to use nivolumab? Adjuvant treatment of melanoma Indicated for melanoma in patients with lymph node involvement or metastatic disease who have undergone complete resection, in the adjuvant setting. 240 mg 4Q2 weeks or 480 mg 4Q4 weeks. Continue until disease progression or unacceptable toxicity for up to one year. Unresectable or metastatic melanoma. Indicated as a single agent or in combination with ipilimumab. Single agent. 240 mg 4Q2 weeks or 480 mg 4Q4 weeks. Continue until disease progression or unacceptable toxicity. Combination with ipilimumab. Nivolumab 1 mg per kilogram 4Q3 weeks plus. Ipilimumab 3 mg per kilogram 4 on the same day for maximum of 4 doses.
After completing four doses of combination therapy, administer nivolumab 240 mg 4Q2 weeks or 480 mg 4Q4 weeks. Continue until disease progression or unacceptable toxicity. Non-small cell lung cancer, NSCLC. Risk NSCLC. Indicated as neoadjuvant treatment in combination with platinum doublet chemotherapy for resectable, tumors greater than or equal to 4 cm or node positive, NSCLC. Nivolumab 360 mg 4Q3 weeks, plus. Platinum doublet chemotherapy Q3 weeks for 3 cycles. Platinum doublet chemotherapy consists of the following. Paclitaxel 175 to 200 mg slash M2 and carboplatin AUC 5 or 6, any histology, or. Pemetrex 500 mg per square meter and cisplatin 5 mg per square meter, non-squamous histology, or. Gemcitabine 1000 to 1250 mg M2 and cisplatin 75 mg per square meter, squamous histology. Metastatic NSCLC. Monotherapy. Indicated for metastatic NSE with progression in patients on or after platinum-based chemotherapy. Patients with EGFR or ALK genomic tumor aberrations should have disease progression prior to initiation. 240 mg 4Q2 weeks or 480 mg 4Q4 weeks. Continue until digression or unacceptable toxicity. Combination therapy with ipilimumab. Indicated in combination with ipilimumab for first-line treatment of metastatic NSCLC in adults whose tumors express PDL1 greater than or equal to 1%, with no EGFR or ALK genomic tumor aberration. Nivolumab 360 mg 4Q3 weeks, plus. Ipilimumab 1 mg per kilogram 4Q6 weeks. Continue until disease progression, unacceptable toxicity or up to two years in patients without disease progression. Combination with ipilimumab and platinum chemotherapy. Indicated in combination with ipilimumab and two cycles of platinum doublet chemotherapy for first-line treatment of metastatic or recurrent NSCLC in adults with no EGFR or ALK genomic tumor aberrations. Nivolumab 360 mg 4Q3 weeks, plus. Ipilimumab 1 mg per kilogram 4 Q6 weeks, plus. Histology-based platinum doublet chemotherapy Q3 weeks for two cycles. Continue until disease progression, unacceptable toxicity, or up to two years in patients without disease progression. Malignant mesothelioma. Indicated as first-line treatment for unresectable malignant pleural mesothelioma in combination with ipilimumab. Nivolumab 360 mg 4Q3 weeks, plus. Ipilimumab 1 mg per kilogram 4Q6 weeks. Continue in combination ipilimumab until disease progression, unacceptable toxicity, or up to two years in patients without disease progression. Renal cell carcinoma. First-line treatment. Combination with cabazantinib. Indicated in combination with cabazantinib for first-line treatment of advanced renal carcinoma, RCC, 240 mg 4Q2 weeks or 480 mg 4Q4 weeks, plus cabazantinib, cabomidex, 40 mg POQ day. Nivolumab, continue until disease progression or unacceptable toxicity, or up to two years. Cabazantinib, continue until disease progression or unacceptable toxicity. Note, do not substitute cabomidex tablets with comatric capsules. Combination with ipilimumab. Indicated for patients with intermediate or poor risk, previously untreated advanced RCC. Nivolumab 3 mg per kilogram 4 Q3 weeks plus. Ipilimumab 1 mg per kilogram 4 on the same day for 4 doses. After completing 4 doses of combination therapy, Administer nivolumab 240 mg 4Q2 weeks or 480 mg 4Q4 weeks. Continue until disease progression or unacceptable toxicity. Also see ipilimumab drug monograph for dose. Prior antiangiogenic therapy. Indicated as a single agent for advanced RCC in patients who have received prior antiangiogenic therapy. 
240 mg 4 Q weeks or 480 mg 4 Q 4 weeks. Continue until disease progression or unacceptable toxicity. Hodgkin lymphoma. Indicated for classical Hodgkin lymphoma, CHL, that has relapsed or progressed after autologous hematopoietic stem cell transplantation, HSCT, and post-transplantation brentuximab betatin, or greater than or equal to three lines of systemic therapy, for example, autologous HSCT. 240 mg 4 Q2 weeks or 480 mg 4 Q4 weeks. Continue until disease progression or unacceptable toxicity. Recurrent of metastatic squamous head and neck carcinoma. Indicated for recurrent or metastatic squamous cell carcinoma of the head and neck, SCCHN, in patients with disease progression on or after a platinum-based therapy. 240 mg 4 Q2 weeks or 480 mg per Q4 weeks. Continue until disease progression or unacceptable toxicity. Urothelial carcinoma. Locally advanced or metastatic. Indicated for locally advanced or metastatic urothelial carcinoma, UC, in patients who have disease progression during or following platinum chemotherapy or have disease progression within 12 months of neoadjuvant or adjuvant treatment with platinum-containing chemotherapy. 240 mg 4 Q2 weeks or 480 mg 4 Q4 weeks. Continue until disease progression or unacceptable toxicity. Adjuvant treatment. Indicated for adjuvant treatment of UC in patients at high risk of recurrence after undergoing radical resection. 240 mg 4 Q2 weeks or 480 mg 4 Q4 weeks. Continue until disease progression or unacceptable toxicity for up to 1. Microsatellite instability high or mismatch repair deficient metastatic colorectal cancer. Indicated as a single agent or in combination with ipilimumab for microsatellite instability high, MSIH, or mismatch repair deficient. DMMR, metastatic colorectal cancer, CRC, that has progressed following treatment with fluoropyrimidine, oxaliplatin, and irinotecan. Single agent. 240 mg 4 Q2 weeks or 480 mg 4 Q4 weeks. Continue until disease progression or unacceptable toxicity. Nation with ipilimumab. Nivolumab 3 mg per kilogram 4 Q3 weeks plus. Ipilimumab 1 mg per kilogram 4 on the same day for 4 doses. After completing 4 doses of combination therapy, administer nivolumab 240 mg 4 Q2 weeks or 480 mg 4 Q4 weeks. Continue until disease progression or unacceptable toxicity. Hepatocellular carcinoma, indicated in combination with ipilimumab for hepatocellular carcinoma, HCC in patients who have been previously treated with serafinib. Single indication was voluntarily withdrawn in the U.S. by manufacturer in July 2021 based on failure of showing a statistically significant benefit in overall survival, compared to nivolumab and serafinib combined. Combination with ipilimumab. Nivolumab 1 mg per kilogram 4 Q3 weeks. Ipilimumab 3 mg per kilogram 4 on the same day for 4 doses. After completing 4 doses of combination therapy, administer nivolumab 240 mg 4 Q2 weeks or 480 mg 4 Q4 weeks. Continue until disease progression or unable toxicity. Esophageal cancer. Previously treated. Indicated for unresectable, advanced, recurrent, or metastatic esophageal squamous cell carcinoma, ESCC, in patients previously treated with fluoropyrimidine and platinum-based chemotherapy. 204 mg 4 Q2 weeks or 480 mg 4 Q4 weeks. Continue until disease progression or unacceptable toxicity. First-line treatment. Indicated for first-line treatment of unresectable, advanced or metastatic ESCC in combination with fluoropyrimidine and platinum chemotherapy or ipilimumab. Combination with fluoropyrimidine and platinum chemotherapy. 240 mg 4 Q2 weeks or 480 mg 4 Q4 weeks. 
continue fluoropyrimidine and platinum-based chemotherapy until disease progression or unacceptable toxicity. Continue nivolumab until disease progression, unacceptable toxicity, or up to two years combination with ipilimumab. 3 mg per kilogram for Q2 weeks or 360 mg for Q3 weeks plus ipilimumab 1 mg per kilogram for Q6 weeks. Continue disease progression, unacceptable toxicity, or up to two years, completely resected. Indicated for completely resected esophageal or gastroesophageal junction cancer in patients with residual pathologic disease who have received neoadjuvant chemoradiotherapy. 240 mg for Q2 weeks or 180 mg Q4 weeks. Continue until disease progression or unacceptable toxicity for up to one year gastric cancer, gastroesophageal junction cancer, and esophageal adenocarcinoma. Indicated in combination with fluoropyrimidine and platinum-containing chemotherapy for advanced or metatic gastric cancer, gastroesophageal junction cancer, and esophageal adenocarcinoma, 240 mg for Q2 weeks or 360 mg for Q3 weeks plus a platinum-containing therapy, for example, oxaliplatin, and a fluoropyrimidine, for example, fluorouracil, cabine. Continue until disease progression unacceptable toxicity, or up to two years dosage modifications. No dose reductions are recommended. Hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism, no recommended dose modifications. Note, when administered in combination with ipilimumab, if ipilimumab is withheld, ipilimumab should also be withheld. Renal impairment. All severities, no dosage modifications required. Hepatic impairment, mild or moderate. No dosage modifications required. Severe, not studied. Pneumonitis. 2. Withhold therapy, resume when complete or partial resolution occurs, grade 1, after corticosteroid taper. Permanently discontinue if no complete or partial resolution within 12 weeks of initiating steroids or inability to reduce prednisone less than or equal to 10 mg per day, or equivalent, 12 weeks of initiating steroids. Grade 3 or 4, permanently discontinue. Colitis. Grade 2 or 3, withhold therapy, resume when complete or partial resolution occurs, grade 1, after corticosteroid taper. Permanently discontinue if no complete or partial resolution within 12 weeks of initiating steroids or inability to reduce prednisone less than or equal to 10 mg per day, or equivalent, within 12 weeks of initiating steroids. Grade 4. Permanently discontinue. Hepatitis with no tumor involvement of the liver. AST or ALT increases 3 and less than or equal to 8x ULN or total bilirubin increases to greater than 1.5 and 3x ULN. Withhold therapy. Resume when complete. Are there specific concerns about nivolumab and pregnancy? There are no controlled data in human pregnancy. AUTGA pregnancy category D. Drugs which have caused are suspected to have caused or may be expected to cause an increased incidence of human fetal malformations or irreversible damage. That's all the information about nivolumab we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the HeInfo channel if you like this video to update more health information.